Speaking of great stand-up comedians, um, Doug Stanhope put something up. He wrote something. He's friends with uh, Johnny Depp, and he's going through this brutal fucking divorce. And uh, I just want to give him props for sticking up for his friend and everything and saying something because, you know, you know what's really so fucked up? All right? It's f- all the shit that happens to women that guys do to women is fucked up. But there has been a slight overcorrection now where if somebody, a woman just says you do something before you're ever tried or convicted, it just gets put in the paper. It gets put all over the Internet. And then all you fucking morons or 90 percent of you on the fucking Internet. Just take it as truth. Take it as fun. Why do you take it as truth? Because you want it to be true because he's doing better than you in life. I mean, it's fucking unbelievable. I I really believe this, okay? If somebody gets accused, okay, of, of, of rape or domestic violence, they should not publicize the person's name until they're convicted of it. I think that's more than fair, considering all the fucking dopes out there that the second they read something, "Ah, it's going to be true. You know, let it fucking see what happens first. See what the fuck happens first. Oh, that 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 whole thing now that all you got to do is just say it. the amount of fucking guys who've been falsely accused of that shit. It's like you're literally fucking with their ability to get a job. You're fucking with their reputation. You know the deal, dude. Like domestic violence and anything involving sex, that shit never goes that never goes away. Um. So I don't know. I just want to, you know, give Stan Hope fucking props for actually sticking up for the guy. Because there's a lot of people, you know, because of the stigma around that, even if they know it isn't true, they're afraid to throw their hat in the fucking ring. Right? Now, I don't know what the fuck happened or whatever. Okay? I'm just saying the fact that somebody finally just said, hey, this guy hasn't been tried for anything yet. He's a friend of mine. I know he would never do this. It was it was refreshing to finally read that and for somebody to finally say you know, what I believe is you shouldn't put somebody's name out there until, you know, 100 percent tried and convicted. They they definitely did that shit. And then if they did tar and feather them, but to do that to somebody. um, And also to give that weapon to somebody that they can just fucking say that and blackmail you with that and, and really destroy your reputation. um. I don't know, it's, it's, it's fucking reprehensible. So there's, there's another thing that isn't really funny. You know? <laughs> you know? It's like all those Duke lacrosse players. The shit, they just fucking faces all over the fu- fucking... And you know to this day, despite the fact that they were totally vindicated, despite the fact that there was the 30 for 30 talking about how bad they got railroaded, despite all of that... You know that's still going to affect their lives. You know there's still going to be somebody going, uh, yeah, but you know something happened. You know somebody when they get mad and they got nothing else to say, they're going to call him a rapist or something like that. You fucking know that they're going to. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was good to see. And, of course, it was Stanhope. Stanhope. Stanhope's a good fucking man. Um, um, as is Johnny Depp, by the way. A few times. He's a, he's a big stand-up fan. He comes out to shows. He's fucking humble as hell. You know, gentle, one of the most gentle fucking people ever. You know what I mean? Look, listen to me. Listen to how the fuck I talk. You know what I mean? You'd understand it if it came, you know, somebody said that about me, that he fucking snapped like Posey and fucking Dirty Dozen. I don't know. I barely know the guy. I've only met him a few fucking times, but like, I don't, I I really tend to believe what the fuck Stanhope is saying. And I 100% believe that you should not be putting somebody's fucking name out there just because somebody said it. You know, oh, it's fucking unbelievable. This fucking state is brutal. She's going for fucking spousal support, you know, going for fucking spousal support, which means he's got to pay her for like the rest of her fucking life. She married the guy for 15 fucking months. And you know what kills me about that person? She's going to fucking go to the Beyonce concert, right? All oh, the ladies independent. And she, well, you watch her throw a fucking hand up. Oh, that shit gets me heated. All right, here we go. Here we go. Is there any fucking ribbons for, for, for guys? Falsely accused of rape and domestic violence. You know, is, do they get their month? You know, will, will the NFL wear a color for them? 
course they won't. They don't. They don't give a fuck. Um. Anyways. 